So, so you moved to Hibs in, in 2008. Did, did you know much about Hibs at the time? Uh, to be honest, at the time when I received the phone call, not at all. Not at all. Uh, and at the time, you know, uh, it wasn't like I was telling you with the kids now. Internet and stuff wasn't my thing, you know, yeah. go and check and blah, blah, blah. No. I went there. As soon as I landed in Scotland, I felt some things that I cannot explain. But, you know, maybe it was what I was needed after my three difficult years in professional in my own country, you know? Yeah. And uh, I went to the training ground. I saw the training ground. I went back to my hotel room. I told my dad, I'm not going anywhere else. I'm staying here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm telling you this because uh, before joining him, I told you I was unemployed. But in France, when you're unemployed, all of the players, well, not all of them, but, you know, 24. Yeah. 21 hours. We we are we have a syndicate it's called UNFP, yeah. and then uh, we're playing against teams. And at the time, it was the first year I think uh, all of the syndicates from Germany, Italy, France. We were meeting in uh, Netherlands and we were doing a tournament, which was great. So it was only unemployed player yeah. playing. And after that tournament, like my dad received a lot of phone calls and I told my dad, I said, no, tell everybody, no. And he was like, no, but we never know, let's speak. I say, dad, I'm not going anywhere else. <laughs> I'm staying here. And then he was like, okay, then I respect your choice. I just fell in love with the, with the club, with the, with the city and the country. He, I, I cannot explain you, Derek, it's just like, uh, and with football, that's the way I am. It's like my heart speak for my for me, you know. Yeah. And I was like, no. And then like every day, the guys Lewis Stevenson, yeah. uh, uh, um, Steve Fletch were like, did you sign? And I was like, no. And I was like, well, when are you gonna sign? And I was like, I don't know. Then my English was very small at the time, you know. I was like, I don't know. And hey, you know, so you. You can see the excitement from the guests because of what you're doing on the field. You know what I mean? And then it was maybe some things that my confidence need to get, even though, uh, even if I'm in the worst situation, I'm going to look at you and say, I'm a good player. You can tell me whatever you want, you know, but it's a thing to be able to do that. But it's, the, it's another thing to feel that from a whole football club. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, okay, sometimes you don't get up with your coach and you still perform well, but nothing is better to have a strong connection with your coach. Believe me, you're going to play the triple better because you've got something, you know, people are thinking, ah, yeah, this guy, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I think football is earning that, but... It, but you don't know if uh, if if he's not the first, if he's the fifth choice of the coach, and the whole week he can hear things and stuff like. Do you think on a Saturday he can just wake up, switch off, and be like, "Oh yeah, the coach is my best pal," and then he, you know what I mean? It's not like that, you know. So uh, I felt all of this at Hibs, and uh, believe me or not, this morning a, t a teammate told me which where was the place that you enjoyed the most as a total package and i said in terms of football i miss portugal because it's my game yeah. but yeah. I, I said in terms of everything i miss hips yeah hips at hips i felt like a professional footballer you know no money problem uh, because, yeah, I've been facing this a lot. I'm not uh, scared to talk about it, you know. Uh, uh, the small details that make you just be thinking about football, you know. Yeah. And you're young. I, I, I can remember myself the, the last year at his, I was like, oh, okay, that's me done here. Uh, I need to go somewhere else. Obviously, my game time wasn't as high because we changed manager uh, so many times. Yeah. And uh, 
uh, for some reason they were uh, trying to make me think that oh, the others were better than me which I still don't think that they were not yeah. but once more you know they were the manager I was the player uh, nothing I could do and uh, I was like oh I need to get out of here and stuff like that and after like you say they have been traveling the world and stuff and I'm like Okay, you didn't have the opportunity to, to extend your contract, but that was life. Yeah. That, was, that was amazing. Like, sometimes you're ungrateful, you know? Yeah. You're, because you don't know, uh, you don't know, you think maybe that the, the field is, it, uh, it's, uh, what's the expression in English? Uh, more green. Yeah, uh, so, uh, not, not green on the other, uh, the grass isn't greener on the other side sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know. And then uh, I was like, oh, okay, but I was feeling and telling all of those things because of my current situation also. So it wasn't like I was playing all the time and I was like, oh, no, I need to go out of hips. You know what? Because yeah. if it was the case, I wouldn't have been talking like this, you know. But, you know, as a player, as a competitor, uh, I was like, no, I, I cannot stay somewhere uh, with no game time whatsoever, knowing that uh, what I was producing at training. And uh, so, so, but yeah, but he's, uh, he's going to be uh, my, my number one teams uh, for for always and every time I'm back in Scotland well until they change uh, the the kid man and woman uh, yeah. Tom and Joyce, Tom and Joyce uh, I was going back there all the time to to visit them to to hug them to talk about uh, my life in whatever country I've been that year you know what I mean <laughs> so now I don't know if I would go back because of a few players, I don't think I know anybody over there. Yeah. You mentioned uh, a player that is still there, Lewis Stevenson. Can, can you believe that he's still there, um, Stephen? I mean, he's Mr. Hibbs, isn't he? Uh, not surprised at all. Uh, I played my first, uh, my trial game, Lewis was there. Yeah. It was against Ray Forbes, and he played midfielders on the left with three midfielders. And I was like, <laughs> after the game, this guy is not playing for the first team. I must have missed something. Yeah. Honestly, after that, Luis uh, used to give me a lift. Nicest guy on earth. Uh, my English was like this. He was talking to me. I was like, what? <laughs> you know it's the, 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 the funny things that you know from the beginning you know you, you remind yourself and you're like wow you, you're, a, you're a strong guy because honestly like when you arrive in the changing room in Scotland oh you yeah. you you you, 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 you I the imagine. guy from Glasgow yeah. the guy there oh my gosh and then you guys are talking to you like you're from the actual country. And I was like, easy, boys. <laughs> easy. <laughs> but, but no, Luis, Luis uh, he deserves it. He yes. deserves it. The work ethic of the guy has never changed. He play, he doesn't play. The guy gives 200%. Yeah. He's not making any noise. He's not raising his voice except on the field because he hates to lose. Uh, but no, 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 not surprised at all. Uh, it's uh, he's a top man. He's a, he, you know he, 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 I'm a, I used to be a crazy NBA fan at the time. Yeah. Uh, if he and Ibs is a great club, I think when he retire, they should take his number out. Yeah, retire his number. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he's made yeah. he's made over five hundred appearances now, so he's 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 gone down as a legend, doesn't he? It's 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 unbelievable. It's unbelievable. You know, like 
I can be, it doesn't matter the country, there, that. And then I'm, I'm, I'm following every Scottish goal, not only his goal, every weekend. It doesn't matter what. I, he's still there. And I can see the left foot. This is Luis. I can, then I'm like, oh, yeah, Luis Stevens. I know, you know, like, because I've played with him, you know. And uh, now the, if every team had only players and human beings like Lewis, football world would be way better. Yeah. Way, way better. Because uh, he's a top man. Top man. Yeah, yeah, he certainly is that. There's no doubt about it. Um, you mentioned yeah. there your, your, your first uh, trial game against Wraith Rovers. Um, your second one was a bit different against uh, uh, Barcelona at, at Murrayfield. Can you remember much about, about that game, Stephen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. Uh, I was like, oh, this is football. I was like, this is what I, you know, <laughs> I've been working for, you know, uh, not full stadium, but lots of people. Yeah. People, dis- people didn't know me at the time. And I was like, oh, it's time for me to show them how good I am, you know. And I had, uh, I played in second half, 45 minutes. I played well. And uh, after that game, like, people were like, uh, you know, I've been knowing this after because I'm not uh, a huge fan of uh, social media and stuff like that. But uh, people after the after that game particularly, they were like, yeah, who is he, blah, blah, blah. Hey. Is a great signing. I don't know if I had signed. I think I had signed, but I can't remember. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he was in national team and stuff like that. It was great memory to play against the best Barcelona team of all time. Also, you know, yeah. it was like uh, and I and I faced again a player that I faced uh, in the Euro under seventeen, PK and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was like. The guy wasn't better than me. Now he's at Barcelona, you know. But I was like, no, it's okay. Just play your game, do your things, and uh, which I did. But uh, yeah, this this game will uh, will stay with me also forever. It was great. Yeah. Of course, um, Lionel Messi came on in that second half. Can you remember much about facing him at all? Or Terry Henry was there. Pedro was there as well, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, so to. First half, I was on the bench and Messi was playing the first half. He was playing the first half. Yeah. Second half, I played, it was on the field. Eto, Eto yeah. Yaya Touré, Gudjensen, Pedro, uh, Pique. Uh, so, was Henri on the second half? Did he play the first half? You remember? Who? Uh, Thierry Henri, was he, was he playing? Uh, second, no, I think he played the first half as well. First half. Yeah, 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 and uh, but it's great, great because uh, uh, the guys, uh, you know, you were playing against proper adults yeah. who were not complicated anything. They see, they give, they move, they give, yeah. they move, and uh, without comparing both, but I can because. Uh, uh, people don't know, but you know, a lot of people are talking about the the tiki taka of Barcelona and stuff like that. But to, at the time we were at Clairefontaine, people from Barcelona were coming to watch our training. Wow! And you then open, yeah. you know, because at at age thirteen, our goalkeeper was forbidden to kick the ball when we were starting from the goal kick. So you had to go short. Exactly. And yeah. then when people were like, oh my God, look the way they play. And I was like, my dad was like, but I saw you guys play at age 13 like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, and I was like, now when we saw Spain won 2008, 2010, 2012, the way they were passing the ball, And I was like, but how did France, how can we be that far behind? These guys came to check what we were doing and they are doing this better than than us right now because we had a spell in France. We want tall, fast, physical player. Yeah. 
If you had some things nice, you could play the one, two being clever. Ah, no. I, uh, and so, so many players have been killed, destroyed. Yeah. And Spain, and I thank them for this because for me, size in football shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. Yeah, I agree. And they show, when I saw how tall or how small, it depends how you take it, are Iniesta, Xavi. I say as well. I, I told myself, it cannot be those guys who are killing world football. It's not possible. Yeah. Because, like, they would probably look at me like this, but they were watching, they were seeing 20 seconds before you, they knew where to pass the ball, they knew, you know, and this is my way of, uh, of football. And it was quite difficult at times in Scotland, you know, for me. <laughs> when, I was, you know, when I could hear channel, blah, blah, blah. I was like, what? No, not with me. <laughs> 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 the first year with Mixu. Oh! <laughs> Mixu at the time, when I was trying to play one, two from the back, was getting mental. He was, he wanted. And after that, he went uh, after that spell at Hips. He didn't work for a year. Then he went to Kimarnock. Did you remember how Kimarnock yeah. was playing? Yeah. Oh! I, I, I met him that year and I say, coach, how you could be shouting at me? And look, and he says, Steven, you know what? During my, my year off, I traveled around the world in the best training ground and everything. And I told myself, no, you're wrong. How many people and coaches can be telling a player this? There is not a lot. Yeah. And he was like, now all of my team is going to play like that. Kilmarnock was we, like far away the best team who, who was playing football in the league. Yeah. It well, had, was, he, he brought um, Eremenko in, I think, and he done. Oh, my gosh. There were a lot what of a, players to watch, wasn't it? What a player. It yeah. was great. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's uh, those little things, you know, in a in a career of a football player, you know, yeah. adaptation uh, or readaptation. Yeah. But uh, I think, and I'm quite sure because I'm going back to Edinburgh quite a lot. This is what hips fan like about me. It's that I never kick the ball. You know, I kept my French. My French touch, my French touch, sorry, on the field. And uh, because I was telling the guys when I was playing as a number six, boys, give me the ball, please. Those second balls jump in the air. This is not me. Give me the ball. Let's play. And then, okay, but like, I, I, as a central defender, if I, do, if I don't touch 60, 70 balls again, I'm frustrated. You know, so imagine as a number six, but um, still, you know, I, I learned also what I had to learn. You know, I now, like, if you see me in the 50-50s and stuff like that, you're like, oh, this guy's been to Scotland. <laughs> 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 oh, without any, I go with everything. <laughs> and when it's at training and everything, the guys are staying on the back. Get up, get on with it. It's fine. It's, it's, oh, yeah, no, no, no. So it's everywhere I've been, I try to keep my football, but I try to pick up the best things of the country I was in as well, you know, yeah. to make me become a better player. Yeah. The, the Scottish football then is, is really physical. Did it take you a while to, to get used to it, uh, Stephen, because it is so um, up in, in your face sort of thing? Uh, it was it was the, the first few games, Derek, after the game. Woo! 
<laughs> Phoning the parents two minutes. Uh, I'm going to bed. Uh, son, it's eight o'clock. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm going to my bed. <laughs> oh, I remember that game we played uh, at Easter Road against uh, Middlesbrough in preseason. Yeah. Oh, 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 la 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 la. <laughs> da, 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 da. And I was like, and I was playing as a number six. Yeah. It was Mix who likes me a lot as a number six. And I do as well. And I think probably I should have done my career at that position. But this is another story. Uh, the ball never stop. The ball never stop. The river never stop. And after that game, I swear, I think at R7, I was sleeping. And I was like, no, 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 no. I, I'm going to change the way of playing of the team. But I say, no, no, no. I, I say, I said that at some point, at some point, I'm gonna ask the ball. This is what we are, we are, to to do in French. You know, sometimes in the midfield you get the ball and you just pass the ball and then to get the the you know the energy back and then you go again. You know what I mean? And uh, it was totally different, but uh, it was it was good, you know, because at the beginning in the ball possession at training, it was difficult. Like everybody's running, and then you know, it's uh, the talking is different. Everybody, you can hear yes everywhere, yes, yes. What to give back this? And I was like, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> you know. But after that, when I got the intensity plus the French touch, now this. Uh, the, the, this combo is, is the best and I after being in Scotland I, I was telling my friends or ex teammates who were in France guys I've got now some things that you guys don't have the intensity you yeah. don't know what it's like and they were like ah what do you mean I say go to a UK country then get back to me you will see yeah. and the last players that I saw Say that big player in France, huh? Morgan Sanson, just signed for Aston Villa. Yeah, he said, This is two different world. The guy was playing for Marseille, Marseille yeah. is a top team, yeah. top team with big pressure. He said, It's a different game. He said, The ball never stop. And I was like, Huh, you see, <laughs> I imagine the guy's got 300 plus games in professional, you know. Yeah, so imagine. What, because when I arrived at Hibs, like I tell people, for me, that was the beginning of my career in professional. Yeah, I'm not counting the free games in France. Yeah. Free games, it's, uh, it's too small, you know? So imagine, and I was like, wow. And I, 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 you know, I like it because I know that if tomorrow I become, if I become a coach, I, I'm going to be a mix of both. I would like nice football, but you're going to have to put the intensity in it. If not, I'm going to be like, no. Nah. Like, uh, except if you don't lose any balls, okay? Like, you need to raise your hands and say, okay, it doesn't have the intensity, but the guy is too good on the ball. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think if you manage to have the mix, you, you're a different player. Yeah, you mentioned you played under you played under a lot of different managers at Hibs. Um, Mix, who of course signed you, then uh, you had John John Hughes and Colin Calderwood. Did, um, what what did you enjoy about these coaches? Or I guess they're very different. Um, John Hughes, especially, what what a character he is. Uh, it's quite funny because at the time, uh, but well, he arrived and. Uh, some people told me, oh, it's going to be great for you with your way of playing and stuff like that. This is what he loves and blah, blah, blah. So I was exciting. Yeah. Then uh, pre-season started really well. Deep down, I even think that I was going to be the captain that season. Oh, yeah. And uh, I remember telling this to my big brother and he was like, are you sure? And I was like, this guy is crazy. I'm at training every day he's in France and he's telling me this like I'm a liar, you know? I don't know the same. Like, 
our connection in my family is like that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if he felt something and stuff. The first six months with Johnny, because I wasn't making the squad, Derek. Wow. After been playing all the times, except when I was injured with Mix, you know? And uh, <clears throat> for what reason? The same. I uh, was thinking that some players were better than me, which all the respect that I have to my old teammates, not in a million years, no chance. Uh, and then uh, I ended up getting a, my, my, a spot in the team as a right back. Yeah. Could uh, Claire Fontaine teach you to play several positions, you know? They mm-hmm. want you to be comfortable everywhere. And uh, I finished the season there. Then the last game of the season, uh, I I got uh, I fall on my uh, on my feet and uh, I put I couldn't see it, but uh, my big toe had blood inside it, you know. Yeah. So I wasn't I couldn't uh, start preseason the following year with the Europa League and stuff like that. I could only run. Uh, they signed uh, a new player. A new right back, and then after that, uh, I had two chances. Two chances. Sorry, I get on against Inverness. Played really well, but some things that I usually don't do. There is a one v one in the box, and I, uh, I usually don't get uh, you know tackle, tackling tackle in the in the box, and I don't know. I tackle penalty, they score one one. Following week, I had another chance start at Saint Mirren. Uh, we lost one nil. My player scored, and after that was it. But you see, I I'm honest. I'm not telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. And uh, and after that, the coach uh, Caldea would arrive, and he said, "Yeah, I'm gonna give a chance to everyone and stuff like that." And uh, I remember our meeting, uh, I asked him to talk to him. Uh, or oh, he did, actually, I can't remember. And uh, he was like, yeah, first of all, I'm sorry. You're the only player that uh, I didn't uh, give a chance from the start, uh, starting a game. And I said, yes, I know. And I wanted to... To, to ask you why or put that in your face because when you arrive and me, since Claire Fontaine, when you say some things to me, you have to do it. It's how I'm raised, you know? Don't tell me you're going to do this. If you don't do it, I'm going to take it like, uh, yeah, the trust things between us is done, you know? And uh, he played me. Uh, I got on at Ibrox, did well. Got on the following week against Motherwell, did well. Then the following games, I don't know who was it. Who was it against, sorry? Put me in the stand. I went and see him on the Monday. Yeah, the last two games, uh, this player was in the stand. So I was like, I was like, it was taking me back to my spell at Sedan. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what are you telling me? I did got on, I did well. Because the guy wasn't, uh, well, if I did well, he has to stay in the stand. It's, uh, I'm sorry, but he has to wait, or you have to wait that I'm I'm doing something bad to be yeah. able to tell me you're going in the stand. And after that, Derek, I was like, okay, my spell at Hibs is done. And yeah. uh, I was thinking that it was done. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I can't, re- no. And after that, I played my last derby games against uh, Hearts. Yeah. First of January. Uh, I think I would have got man of the match if uh, we would we 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 didn't lose at the 94th minute with the the goal of uh, uh, Kevin Kai. And uh, after that, I played a few games as well. And my last games, I think, for the clubs was against Motherwell away, and uh, we lost. And it was probably the, my worst game I played as a right back, and yeah, not the best game. So yeah, so 
I was age 24. I uh, had already thousands of managers in my career. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and I was like, wow, this, this football world uh, is, uh, is not what I expect at all. Yeah. But I was like, okay, get on with it. Uh, it's the end of Hibs in a few weeks. And uh, just give your best and make sure you don't have any trouble with anyone, which is never uh, be the case my whole career. And uh, that was it. My my adventure at Hibs uh, was finished. Yeah, I was going to talk about some games when you were there. The, the, the Edinburgh derby that you played in, Stephen, how much did you enjoy um, those games against Hearts? Unbelievable. 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 Uh, so proud of being part of this yeah uh, because it's something that uh, even though i've got two wee princesses mm. i will be able to talk to them about it <laughs> but uh, it's uh, and the way i loved hibs and what was around the club i'm not gonna tell you that i was playing a derby like a scottish guy because it's never going to be the case, but it was almost the same, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, but, don't get me wrong, art fan, don't get me wrong, there is no hate. Yeah. It's when I played, when I was playing against them, it was like, you cannot lose, you have to be, but like, you know, because sometimes, and I want like uh, all the fans in the world, it doesn't matter, as when there is derby, you can support your teams. Don't step the barrier yeah. of the, you know, it's football. It's a beautiful game. So uh, I never had any issue with arts player on the field, in a night out. You know what I mean? We were yeah. talking to one another and stuff like that because that's the way I am, you know. But when we're on the field, uh, I when if you see me playing against my brothers, you're gonna be like, these guys are not brothers, you know. <laughs> no, when it's the game, it's the game, you know. Yeah. But uh, my first derby was at Easterwood, and we scored almost at kickoff. Yeah. For ten seconds, I was like, where I am? The noise, the stadium. The, this is things that you can understand only when you're playing. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. 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 East Easter Road. Did you did you enjoy playing at Easter Road in front of? Yeah, the- yeah, yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it very much, especially the first year. Uh, it was. Very good, but like I say, and I'm gonna use tonight to 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 say, uh, unfortunately, the hips fan didn't see the real Steven. You yeah. know, uh, my my injury, the first game of the season against Kili, yeah. yeah, killed everything that I did during preseason, and. Uh, I didn't know what being injured means. I had injuries before, but nothing. Uh, it was never a mus- muscle injury. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I lose too many times. Too much time, sorry. Too much times uh, to get back. And uh, I remember after three months, I came back on a Friday. On a Saturday, I was starting, which shows how important I was for Mixu anyway, you know. But now that I'm 34, I'm not going to tell you that I wasn't happy and stuff like that, but I should have been to different stages, you know what I mean? Yeah. To get the full fitness back and everything, you know, because after that game, that I finished with Cram, and this is something that happened twice in my career. Uh, it was the derby game uh, at Easter Road. We drew one all, and uh, I was 
getting recovering so many balls, but I didn't have the the fresh mind to give a nice pass, which is my game normally, you know. Yeah. And after that games, uh, I've been dropped eight games, and you have to put things back on track. So I'm 21. I'm in a new country. I just get back from three horrible months of injury. I'm coming back. Then I get dropped. And then, like, if you're not strong, you know, you can be starting to do crazy, silly things, you know? Yeah. And I was like, uh, and I remember, Mitsu wasn't sending me uh, with the reserve team on a Tuesday. And I wasn't playing on a Saturday. And one week, I went and I said, hey, I'm going to play on Tuesday. I say, what is my position here? I don't play on Saturday. I don't play on uh, on Tuesday. Where can I get my fitness? Training is a thing. Football, f- football fitness is another thing, you know? Yeah. And at the end of that season, uh, I get back really well. And I say that after my last game at Aberdeen, because they sent me to the press, you're going to see the real Steven next season. Then we change coach and then, you know, so no need to go back on this, you know. Yeah. So it's uh, it's uh, some things that I will keep on, on, on my heart because it's painful to not have been able to show that amazing clubs, fan and, you know, everything. Who is the real Steven, you know, because I managed to do that after in other country, you know, in Portugal, you say my name. Oh, yeah, this, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you go to Romania. Okay, I, I left after the first year because of money problem. But yeah, this guy scored this, that. Yeah. At Hibs, some people, when I, you know, see them, yeah, very good on the ball and stuff like, you know, but it's not... When you've been three years in a, somewhere, you know, you want to hear more than that, you know. There yeah, is a I thing I haven't, I haven't scored for Hibs. Uh, it's yeah. painful. You know what I mean? It's beaten, yeah. I, you know, I would have... Uh, this is small things that I would have liked to be able to have on my video highlights a goal at, uh, at Easter Road or some things like that. Yeah. But, you know, I... Uh, it's... Uh, it's part, it's part of my career yeah. and uh, I used it to make me enjoy football and still playing at age 34 as well. So, you know, it's it's good. Yeah. Now, you'd play against uh, the old firm, of course, uh, when you were at Hibs, Stephen, and you managed to beat them. And, um, of course, you beat Rangers at Ibrox, famously 3-0 and um, two 0 win over over Celtic is one. How, how how well how good was it to play in these games? Wow, well, it's this it's the same. Like uh, these games, those games were like it's it's great because uh, for me personally, I wish it could be this those games every weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like. Uh, it's now with the age and stuff, every game I would, like, it's the same, you know, you're tuned in and everything. I'm not saying that I wasn't before people think and stuff like that. No, it's not that. Yeah. But when you play Celtic, Rangers, uh, Hearts, you know, the atmosphere, the whole week, it's different, you know. Yeah. It's different. You're going to be on TV. Uh, it's historical clubs, your stadium is going to be packed full, you know, and you play football for those kind of things. And uh, obviously, uh, I was uh, part of the 2 nil win and I got man of the match at Easter Road against Celtic. At Rangers, I get on at, uh, yeah. after, after 60 minutes. <laughs> and uh, it was, uh, it was uh, an unbelievable memory as well. And uh, even when we were playing at Celtic Park and everything, it's like memory that like it's great because uh, I had the chance. Let me think. Every big games, I played well. 
yeah. you know, these things, you know. And uh, I remember, and uh, some people uh, wouldn't remember, but probably one of my best performance at Hibs was when we lost 3-1 at Celtic Park. That game, I was like, yeah. in terms of playing and stuff, yeah. Like, oh, it was so nice, you know, it yeah. was so, so nice. And uh, uh, those teams are, you know, uh, are known in, in the world. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's feelings that when I talk to my colleagues in France, I'm like, hey, guys, you... You can tell me about, uh, yeah, I played, uh, blah, blah, blah. You never played in front of 70,000 people. You never played at Celtic Park. Don't compare uh, League One games. You don't know what is that atmosphere over there. You yeah. do not know. Like, you can speak to your teammates two meters. is not hearing you. Yeah. Like, you have to experience that, you know. It's, yeah. uh, it's, uh, it's, it's great, great. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly is. Another game that you played in, uh, Stephen, a crazy game was uh, uh, the game against Motherwell, the, the 6 6 game. What the, what was going on there? <laughs> <laughs> what a game. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was playing right back. Yeah. I think uh, not long ago, I watched the highlights and I was like, what was I doing in some of the goals? I, I don't know. Like, but uh, the whole game to, to go back to the game, uh, we're six to up, yeah, 20 minutes to go, <laughs> and I'm like, ah, it's okay, it's in the pocket, no problem, yeah. you know. Then six three, and I'm like, no, nah, it's fine, yeah. six four, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> then six five. Then people don't remember, but I have a crazy memory. They have a penalty at 6 5. Yeah. Unbelievable save by Graham Smith. Unbelievable. Last minute, 6 all. And I, I played that game. I cannot explain you what happened. You know, now with my age, my experience, and stuff. I know what happened. At 6 3, 6 4, we started to be like this. Yeah, panic a wee bit. And, and instead of staying high, staying far away from our goals, we were just dropping, dropping, yeah. dropping. You know, Scottish football, long ball, this cross. You're going to concede at some point. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that game is in particular, particularly, yeah. If it's uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in particular, sorry. Uh, we missed one guy. Just we just needed one guy to be like, hey, come on, boys, we're not losing this. You know what I mean? And it's those games like you look at your friends, you expect him to say it, expecting you to say it, you know what I mean? And no voice, no communication, no this. And uh, one of the craziest games in football history. <laughs> I, 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 I can say that and I mean it because uh, we, we even been put on TV in France. For wow, like, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So, yeah, fights. Uh, then the reaction of uh, of Yogi after the game of the Gaffa. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. He went it ballistic, was, I can imagine. It was crazy. And uh, it was crazy because if we had won that game, we were already qualified for the Europa League. Yeah. And uh, we had to... Then the next game... We played the derby game. We lost at home. At again last minute, and uh, we had to wait uh, the last game of the season against Dundee United to go, and we won there two 0 
and uh, to secure that spot. Yeah. Crazy. But it's the beauty of football, huh? Yeah, definitely. Um, some other players that you played with there, um, Saul Bamba was there when you were there. What a, what a, a big player he was. Uh, what, what was he like to, to share a dressing room with? Uh, uh, people don't know. We know since we are kids. Oh, really? Yeah, we know wow. like in uh, in France, like I was saying, we're from Paris. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know when, uh, oh, this guy is very good, this guy, you know? So yeah. we knew. Then we played against each other when I was at Nantes and when he was at PSG because yeah. I was playing with the with the youngest, uh, with the oldest guy, older guy. And uh, when I knew that he joined the team, uh, we were so happy because uh, uh, if you put the whole story back, you're like two guys from Paris Hood yeah. are in a different country, in the same teams. We played so many times in the middle of the park together. We had a yeah. great partnership and stuff like that. And uh, obviously, so uh, show everyone during his spell at Hibs like how good he was yeah. and uh, he, he got his move after that in England I'm still on the phone we like we are bro- we are families like yeah. we're on the phone every week uh, even more recently you know you must know yeah he's struggling uh, uh, yeah but he's fine he's fine he's fine he's a warrior actually I need to to send him a voice note because I sent him a voice note on Monday and I have a trust on him. So probably after we finish, I will try to, yeah, to get in touch again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was good. You know, it's um, sometimes you need about things like that to make you, to help you. So came to Scotland way before me. Yeah. He was understanding everything. School speaks Scottish. He doesn't speak English. He speaks Scottish. <laughs> you know, so uh, he was helping me on the field of the field, and uh, uh, it's nice to be able to to talk your own language as well with uh, you know with a teammate. So yeah, great, great guy, unbelievable player. Until today, I still don't understand how uh, old firm teams didn't try and si- sign the guys. Yeah before he went to England. I, I don't know. You know, I was hearing a few things about like uh, not good things in terms of uh, not, it wasn't not good things, but like like he was missing some things too. And I was like, okay. And then I saw him in England and I was like, what are you guys saying? I was like, <laughs> sometimes, you know, there is some players and I could see myself back in the academy at now. Still need all the time to be as high as he can, yeah. to be the best as he can. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, it's a, it's a mental thing. You know, some people they need to be uh, with. Uh, like I remember one of his first games to go back to at Leicester. They face Man City. Me as a friend, oh, he's playing against Carlos Tevez, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The guy's been outstanding. He scored. And, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he told me, after, he said, we dream about games like that. We train our whole life. It was my time to, you know, I was like, okay, let's enjoy myself, you know. And after that, uh, I'm not scared to say that if Cardiff got relegated, it's because he's done excruciate. I'm not scared to say that, you know. If he didn't get his A, if he didn't do his ACL, Cardiff would have been in Premier League still, you yeah. know. Yeah. So uh, now, great. Uh, we're talking about a brother like here. So yeah. he's. Uh, I love the guy. I love yeah. the guy on and off the field. So yeah, he's he's, he's very, we've all loved every club he's at. I know he's the Leeds fans love him. Dunfermline love him as well. So he's he's very likable character. Yeah, yeah. He's a he's a big man. Yeah. Don't mess up with him. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> but he's is the he's the nicest guy on her. Yeah. But don't mess up with him. You know, if you if you do some things that you shouldn't, uh, believe me, you're in trouble. And yeah. it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter. Coaches, uh, 
be nice is going to be the nicest guy. If you do something silly, uh, people in Scotland know. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about doing something silly, I mean, um, Derek Riordan was there at the time. Um, what, yeah. what, what, what was he like? The, for me, Derek, the same. Not as much as Soul, but you're talking about a brother. Yeah. Uh, love the guy, still in touch with him. Uh, it doesn't matter where I'm, where I'm playing. I'm still in touch with Derek. Uh, he told me something that touched me one the year after I left Hibs. I didn't play for a year. Of course, it happens. Yeah. And I was uh, one one games. I was at Easter Road, and he, the team. Uh, the team got beaten and he say uh, something like uh, I can't believe you're here you should have been on the field still because we miss people like you here yeah. and uh, this touched me because he's a Hibs hero you know yeah. uh, more than 100 goals uh, stuff like that Derek is one of the nicest guy I've played football with people He's been talking and putting his name and there is this is like that. I say you don't know the guy whatsoever. Do not talk. The guy is the nicest guy ever. Yeah. You go to the changing room. Derek wants to have a joke all the time. Wants to talk. Wants to wants to win. Blah blah blah. Okay, he's gonna tell you. Ah, you. It's time to run. No, come on, man. Why we run? You know what I mean. <laughs> but. <laughs> Unbelievable teammate. Uh, we were that close that um, I think my second year, uh, he, he did uh, organize a night out with. Uh, well, I don't. It wasn't a night out because he had the problem, you know, in Edinburgh <laughs> to go somewhere. And uh, I think I was one of the only Hibs guy who turned up. And like. Uh, wow. He was like, you know, shot and everything. I say no. I say, I say, Dix, we we get on well. You know, I told you I would come. I'm coming. You know, after I'm not saying that I'm gonna stay the whole night, but you know, and it's little things like that, and uh, it's uh, and with the ball on his feet. For, yeah, he could finish. Could I, I, I I played with uh, okay Benzema and stuff, but like to score a goal the ability and many times I was like how can you not play in England how can I, I was like Derek please like run a bit more do some like I say you should be a, a billionaire man you know like and you know it's like that he was gifted uh, he he made it through the academy and stuff like that. And uh, and sometimes, you know, you don't know, you maybe realize when it's a bit too late, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm not going to be able to talk that much because, uh, like I said before, sometimes there is personal issues, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, it, it doesn't mean that uh, there is problem in your life, but... Maybe there is a thing that we don't know that's bothering you, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I saw I saw the bench, and it's. Uh, I, I'm very pleased to to be able to say that I played with Derek Ryardan in my career. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, he was, yeah. He was, a, he was a, a top player for Hibs. Um, uh, another player, I mean, it was an absolute tragedy what, what happened to him, I think it was just last year, Liam Miller, um, sadly oh. passed away. What, what, what was he like to, to play with, Steve? Oh, uh, uh, it's, uh, I'm not going to get emotional because uh, I love Liam. I, yeah. I absolutely love Liam. Uh, for a guy who played in club as important as Celtic or Man United, the yeah. guy was down to earth. 
not a word and stuff like that. But on the football field, it was unbelievable. Oh, the guy could run. The guy could get the ball back. The guy could play one, two. The guy could score. No, it was it was so. And then when I heard, I was devastated. I'm not gonna lie and say I cried and stuff, but I was like, "What?" Yeah, shocking, wasn't it? Yeah, and uh, because like I was thinking that much of Liam uh, after Hibs, I think he went to Australia. Yeah. And I had one of my uh, uh, friend back then who was playing there. And uh, when I found out that Liam was in Australia, I was like, oh, uh, I have your next teammate who's playing there. He's unbelievable. And he said, uh, or he said, I played against somebody, blah, blah, blah. And I say, is it not someone called Liam Miller? And he said, how do you know him? And I say, I played with He said, bro. The guy is crazy good. <laughs> he said, he's crazy good. He's so good. I said, I'm telling you, I was with him two years. He can play football. Yeah. And uh, when I found that, I was like, no, like, because I, you know, we were, uh, we were like, we had a very close changing room, you know, our bond was good, so like sometimes uh, he was uh, he was out like uh, with his wife, and I knew that they had the, they have the kids and stuff like. That. So when I heard that, I, I you know I could have flashed in my head seeing him with his wife, and you know we were all in the night out, and I was like, wow, Liam is gone, and. I, I wish I, I don't wish this to my worst enemy you know but yes. like uh, you cannot you cannot deal with those kind of illness unfortunately but uh, I don't know if his family is gonna see this or not but I, I want to tell them that I think uh, I think about them and then uh, I wish them all the best because uh, he was an unbelievable guy yeah, and uh, before we look at when you left Hibs to go to Portugal, I mean, you mentioned before we started the interview, you met your, your wife in Edinburgh as well. So Edinburgh must have a, a close place in, in your heart, Stephen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's definitely is, you know, and it's crazy because uh, it's uh, it took like years, you know. We were, uh, we were friends only. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, for uh, for a long time, and then now uh, it's crazy that sometimes I, I'm looking at her and I'm like, <laughs> where where we've been, what we did achieve, and everything. Yeah. So yeah, Edinburgh, uh, Edinburgh is my second house. Huh? Let's put it that way. You know, yeah. uh, sometimes I'm in Paris. It could be two three in the morning. I just go on, uh, well, when we could travel free and everything. <laughs> Those were the days. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I'm just going to my parents' room and say, in shower, somebody needs to drop me at the airport. I'm going to Edinburgh. And like this? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I'm tired of here. I'm just, you know, just to, just the way I feel about Edinburgh, you know, just to go there for a couple of days. Uh, obviously, being being with her, and uh, and now that we have a family, it's uh, it's, uh, it's it's even crazier. My both our both uh, princesses are born over there, yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah, Edinburgh is gonna is gonna is in me now for good. Huh? Yeah, excellent stuff.